Hi, my name is Patrick Boyle. I'm a finance professor at King's College London and at Queen Mary University of London, where I teach the financial derivatives class to masters in finance students. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I try and help beginners learn about finance and hopefully reach expert level. Um, so today's video is on the topic of backwardation and contango in futures markets. So let's try to understand what these terms mean. They can be a little confusing at first. So a little background. Um, the economist John Maynard Keynes argued that in general the natural hedgers of a commodity are those who wish to sell the commodity in the future. And so what he means by that is that producers of a commodity are the people that are most likely to hedge in his opinion. So he argued that if hedgers collectively hold a net short position in the forward or futures market, the other side of those contracts must then be held by speculators, people who are trying to make a profit from, uh, from, from their trading in, uh, in financial futures. Um, and so those people must thus hold a net long position. Hedgers are obviously interested in reducing risk and he argued that they will accept losing a little bit of money on their forward contracts in return for, for reducing their risk and that equally that in order to attract speculators into the market that there should be a little bit of built-in profit there for them. So, Keynes argued that if speculators are holding a net long position, it must thus be the case that the expected future spot price is greater than the forward price. This market situation where the futures price is less than the expected spot price is thus referred to as normal backwardation. Since the forward or futures prices converge with the spot price at maturity, normal backwardation implies that futures prices for a certain maturity are increasing over time. The idea is that hedgers of these commodities are essentially willing to pay speculators to take the risk of owning the commodity away from them. So then contango, contango is our other condition, is a condition where the price of distant delivery prices for futures contracts exceeds spot prices. And this is often due to things like storage costs, the cost of storing and insuring the underlying commodity. So contango implies that futures prices for a certain maturity are falling over time. Here's a chart on your screen right now showing you what contango and backwardation look like versus the expected future spot price of the commodity. There are lots of theories as to why certain products trade in contango or backwardation and no perfect answer exists. It's still a puzzle that academics are trying to explain today. In fact, there's lots of papers that come out you know, discussing this very topic. Some commodities have a way that they normally trade, so they either normally trade in contango or normally in backwardation. And then from time to time they might flip into the other condition, um, driven by the pressures of supply and demand. This obviously can materially affect a trader's P&L. These videos, hopefully, you are finding useful. They're all based on my book, which is called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. It's available on Amazon, and I've put a link below if you want to, if you want to read it. Um, hopefully, you found the video helpful. If so, I'd love if you could hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, also hit the subscribe button. Um, Please also feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think of these videos. Are they helpful? Uh, how could I improve them? And equally let me know if there are other financial topics that you'd like me to cover. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. See you in the next video, hopefully.